Do you guys like my new hat? Well, we're now at the mall and everyone is walking around and it looks like everyone is happy. Tomorrow is the inauguration and we just got interviewed by a radio station. Let's take a look. As you can see, these people over here are getting interviewed. Look. The show is for the BBC. The show is going around the whole world, and I just spoke to a girl from Kenya. Her name is Veronica, and she's 11 years old. Veronica was talking about how she was interested in Barack Obama and how she, how her school was going crazy and having parties and posters of Barack Obama on the day that Barack Obama, the day after the Barack Obama won. I'm here with Mike, and he's been talking on the radio. What do you like about Barack Obama? Well, I like that he's a big change from George W. Bush how he brings a lot of people into the process. His campaign was all about involvement, and I think that's how he's going to run his government. What interests you in him? Well, I like the fact that he's going to do something about the environment, about climate change. I like the fact that he's going to deploy troops um, more discriminately. I also like the fact that he is going to do something about health care. Hi, I'm here with Gabriel, and he likes Barack Obama. What do you like about Barack Obama? Oh. Um, well, there's many reasons why I've not well I've met him because when he's running for senator he came to my house because my mom had a fundraiser and what I like about him is because uh, I don't really like the war he's thinking about bringing the um, soldiers back I was also interviewed by Maria Sanso she is a reporter from a popular YouTube show called pop tub and also, she's on the TV Guide channel. Now, let's take a look at my pop tour appearance. A change of scenery. I need a change. A change in leadership. A change in government. A change in direction. I'm going to D.C. <laughs> here in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, on Inauguration Day. The vibe here is incredible, and you will never believe who I got to interview. The man himself. The one and only David Weaver. What's up? Hello, President Lee Obama. I'm Daniel Weaver, and I want to interview you. What's it like being a celebrity? I'm not used to this. People just walking up to me asking me for pictures. We are so proud of you. You know that. You are just a little sport. Ten years old and he's going to all the inaugural balls. You getting tired? It's last night I was tired and I went to sleep on the red carpet. You went to sleep on the red carpet. A man up to my own heart. Can you be my arm candy of the inauguration? I would be happy to. You got a ticket for me? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I think it's time that you let a hard working student interview you. Well, that's what David wants to say to Obama, but here's what I want to say. Dear Mr. President, I think you should watch Pop Tub. While I was on the mall, people kept recognizing me and asking me for pictures. Well, we're now going to pick up our inauguration tickets. We're here at the Rayborn building waiting for our tickets that Congressman Hastings gave us. The line is very long, but I'm going to wait because I want to see Barack Obama officially get poured into the White House. Now we're in the Rayborn building, and now we're finna go get our tickets. There you go, my friend. On behalf of Congressman Hastings, here's a ticket to the inauguration. Thank you. I hope you have fun. Get a good story? Yes. Hi. 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 Hi.
Nice. And my third question is, who you be willing to play one way than a one on one basketball game? And I can't reveal the others. You can't reveal the others? Well, okay. a journalist can never re reveal all the questions, right? I'm in Congressman Hastings' office, and I just got my inauguration tickets. Well, I'd like to thank Al Congress Alcee Hastings for giving me the, these tickets. Well, I had a great time waiting in line, had some fun joking with people, but time to go home and get in the pool. Bye.